things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. So tonight, the truth is going to be unfiltered and full of flavor. Please welcome Dana McCool and Eric Ramundo, bringing you the smoking truth. Yeah. yeah, we came out hot today, yes, folks. Sir. Let me tell you, we have a very special guest. Uh, we have our famous uh, state representative from our area over here in Daltona, Deland, serving yep. all, all those in between. Infamous. Uh, infamous, yes, yes. Infamous state Notorious representative, even. Webster Notor- Barnaby. Notorious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, I can tell you that uh, we do thank you very much for coming on today. We'll get some housekeeping here out of the way in a minute, but I know Dana especially loves the fact that you're here today. <laughs> Listen, Dana loves all you need is love. That's it. Old John Lennon, the British rocker, said, all you need is love, baby. That's it, he said, love is all you need. <laughs> He's going to be good today, let me tell you. He's already lit up today. Oh, my God. So oh, housekeeping right. really quick. Go really ahead. Quick. I'm going to let you be the housekeeper No today. worries. Uh, so everyone, please uh, do not forget to follow us uh, on our YouTube channel. That's mm-hmm. The Smoking Truth. Uh, hit that uh, like and, uh, and also definitely subscribe button so you can get the, uh, the updates when they drop on Tuesday, the, the videos. You can follow us on uh, all of your major podcasts like Spotify, Podbean, mm-hmm. uh, Apple, whoever is out there. We're, we're probably on them. Uh, you can also take a look at us um, through our Facebook at The yep. Smoking Truth podcast uh facebook page and we also have uh at uh, the smoking truth yeah oh, no yeah i'm sorry twitter yeah Jesus, yes. i know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so. it's okay but it's okay it's been a long week yeah, it has been, been. been. Uh, a can long we, day can we talk about our lovers yes i want to talk about our yes. lover Go who's ahead. your lover today mine is phosphoro phosphoro, phosphoro. phosphoro. i had to get I, I can say phosphoro but the latin in me i'm doing um yeah got it webster yeah the the the, um, the, uh, the latin in me is doing the phosphoro so yeah phosphoro yeah, I got Latin in me too. About a Toro Fuente. Ooh. Ooh. Did you I say know. that again? Ex smoker here. I know. Ex-smoker. Say it again. Arturo Fuente. Arturo Fuente, yeah. You're so smooth, uh, for God's sake. He is. <laughs> who you, you know, hey. who, before we get to Webster Barnaby, who yeah. do you got, my dear? <clears throat> Who's my lover today? Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, Sober Mesa. Sober Mesa. Sober Mesa. Brulee. Brulee. Ooh, oh, ooh, you got some ooh. good shit there. <laughs> I'm deserting today. <laughs> the brulee. <laughs> brulee, brulee. Hey, listen, another bit of housekeeping yes. uh, is the money from the cuss jar uh, for last year. And when I say last year, it was a really thin year because we started, what, we started September? Late September, September, late October, yeah. yeah, and it was $69. Or late late, late August, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between so, all of the – this is – your politicians here cussing. Yeah. 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 It wasn't total, just us. Di- total dishonesty. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, a, that's some bullshit. You never <laughs> hey, wait, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. There you go. There you go. This money, we um, are collecting money. We'll be sending we it co- to. We call it bullshit. Bullshit. That's some bullshit. <laughs> This uh, bullshiggity will be going to a local charity um, and a very hardworking nonprofit. Nitty Gritty Talk Ministries will be getting the $69. I'll let Lisa know. She'll be thrilled. Awesome. We did a food drop this morning over at um, the church on Tivoli in Providence. It was very successful. Fed 400 families. Awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. First thing this morning. So big shout out to everything that they do. Everybody who's always concerned a little bit with the cursing and stuff, hey, it is going all to a good uh, good cause. It really is. It's a small nonprofit that Mm -hmm. helps a lot of folks in the community. They do food drops. Exactly. Can I tell you? Yeah. Webster. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh Uh-huh. Representative, I'm going to use the bullshiggity. I have my famous, listen, I have my famous, like, when I call people momos on the show, and I am going to use that one from now on. When I'm getting ready to get there, sir, I'm going to go, this is some bullshiggity. I love it. I love it. So I just want to get, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. it. Go ahead, go ahead. So if you do not know, if you have not listened to this podcast and you've never heard me on the dais, then you would not know that um, Representative um, Barnaby is my favorite target. He is my favorite Republican target. He and I have a long and storied history. Um, I excoriate him often. He ain't done nothing yet, girl. <laughs> you guys e- been listening. Not even a little bit of tongue, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, not even a little bit. So I'm in full denial. We ain't done a gosh darn thing. 
<laughs> Maybe in your dreams. God, listen, that talk that I you know. and I had, that shit. Yeah, that shit talked to him to forget, forget about, about it. Just go ahead. I'm just going in full flavor. I'm going in unfiltered and hot today. Here, where's my 20? Let me just go I wanted to make sure I could set the stage a little tiny bit. <laughs> you fucked but the up. Great, but the great representative is all like, oh, Dana, just go ahead and just get out of there and forget it. <laughs> so, I have railed you in the past. A little, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. On the, I have railed you in the Ooh, past. I, on I never forget that one. my son cannot listen to this <laughs> yeah. podcast. He's going to yeah. be traumatized. Yeah, he is going to be traumatized. <laughs> Shane, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Apologize <advance>. now. <laughs> uh, I have spoke at length about um, my disdain, right, right, and lack of what I thought was um, <clears throat> great money coming into Deltona, and right. and we've talked about that. We, I think that you and I last year at the um, delegation. <laughs> Um, at the legislative delegation, I think you got a little hot at me because I stood up and was railing about abortion, and I knew that you were, at that time, introducing a bill, you know, um, the first in the House to uh, introduce the... Fetal abor- heartbeat bill. The fetal heartbeat bill. And I know that I came up hard against you, and I remember that speech, and I just want to paraphrase you right now, okay? <laughs> and I can't believe people bastardized the Constitution. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? That's cussing right there. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but in the, the year since then, yeah. in the year since then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we have run into each other more. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I have can't say that I've taken a liking to you, but I've mm-hmm. taken a fonding of you, mm-hmm. right? Become fond of batting back and forth with you. And I know that you do work hard. You know, I know that you work hard and we disagree on platforms, but however, you have come to bat this year from everything that I hear, sir, um, in our time of need. And that's what is paramount to me. You know that I respect the office. I know that I jab you about a few things, but you know where my heart is. Listen, Dana, I love your heart. Like John Lennon says, and I'm going to say it again. All you need is love. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. All you need is love. Love, 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 love. love is all you need. Love is you, all you need. No, it really is because, <clears throat> really, folks, we're gonna learn how to love each other, and mm-hmm. that's that's what endears people to each other. I found as a law lawmaker, it's a lot easier to love people than to hate people. Mm-hmm. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King, whose birthday's coming up. It, January 15th, ladies and gentlemen, my son's birthday. He says, hate is too strong of a, of a word. We need love. If people learn to love each other, we'll learn how to get along. We'll learn how to live together. The whole world runs a lot smoother with love. I mean, I'm a lover, not a hater. I mean. Too much energy rep on, on, on hating. That's the problem. You, yeah. Thank you. The I world know. needs love. <laughs> When did the Republicans become so fucking kumbaya? Oh Stress the fuck out right now. She's all like, what Martin, am I supposed to do with that? I can't, Martin Luther I can't, King. I can't, I can't argue pivot. That. I Martin, can't pivot. Martin Luther King was a Republican, and he knew how to love. Listen, I know you do. I'll, listen, you, you know what, who you and I you are? Do. You know who you and I are. We're compatible, baby girl. We, we are. You and I are Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. You know, Tom and Jerry, just they, they chased each other all the time. They sure did. But when it came to doing battle with the the house mom, they right. were together. Right. And I think that right. that's where we are. We want what's best for Deltona. We do. We do. We do. We do. And, and my number one legislative agenda is this year. Wait, for d- you have one opportunity. Mental health counseling. Ah! Number one agenda. I swear to God, it is. Mental health counseling. My number one agenda this year. And I've met with numerous different groups already mm-hmm. uh, this week. Just did this you week. meet with, you You met with Lori, didn't you? I sure did. I she told you what Lori. we're on fire for, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm working with her. I'm mm-hmm. working with other groups as well. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you on this show that West Volusia County will get the proper mental health count that it needs. Representative, can West you say? West Volusia, because I represent West Volusia. My, my congressional district covers not only Deltona, but D-Land, D-Land. Mm-hmm. The Spruce Creek Flying, mm-hmm. Lake Helen, and Osteen. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's West Volusia County. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I want to tell all the residents of West Volusia County that Webster Barnaby loves you intensely, and I'm doing everything I can in my power to make sure that we have the proper health counseling 
that we deserve over the West Volusia County. Like I brought back $14.7 million last year. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to make that look like chicken feed this year because we're going to bring back a whole lot more working with the appropriations chair who's part of my delegations, Tom Lee, mm -hmm. and, of course, working with the speaker, Paul Renner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything in Tallahassee is about relationships. Yep, it is. If you don't know how to build relationships, if you don't know how to build bridges, you ain't going to get nothing done. Right. So you got to be the love doctor. I am the original <laughs> love doctor. I'm the doctor of love for my folks here in like Volusia County. Can I, tell, can I tell you? So obviously, I do. I never give away all the secrets, but I will tell you that uh, the representative is. Uh, so what you see right now. So I want everybody to understand this too, because I don't want everybody to think this is a show. Let me tell you something. With this man, what you see is what you get. He is this smooth when he's in Tallahassee too. He's do you know who you reminded me of just then? Who's that? Let me tell you who it is. Who that? Who would that be? Venus flytrap. A Venus flytrap. <laughs> From WKRP in Cincinnati. He's smooth as fuck. Yeah. That's who you just reminded me of just then. Man. That's, that's some shit. That. That's some shiggity right there. Yeah, that's, that is definitely some shiggity. <laughs> I want to talk also, you and I have talked, um, we've talked in passing and we've talked at length. I've talked to Senator Wright about this. Senator Wright is on board also. Good. Is that we need to build better domestic violence protection for yeah. our women and children. And uh, let me just say victims of domestic violence. We don't have anything here. We need to bring back money from the state for that also. We need more shelters. We need more programs to get women or battered um, battered people back to work, okay, back to getting away from the abuser. We need to get the children learning that this is not the way that they should be growing up. So I implore you, and I have done it before. It would have been my legislative ask, but we have other things for Deltona, right? Yeah. Well, the good thing is I, I, last year I brought back $6.1 million for Daytona State College for the D-Land campus, that's yep. part of my district, here yep. on the west side of the county, yep. $6.1 million for a police training center mm -hmm. so that the law enforcement officers over this side of the county, they can train how to assimilate when they go to a domestic violence yep. situation. Okay. And, you know, they can know how to handle it properly and disarm those that are trying to commit a crime and hurt the uh, the partners in, in this crime yep. and how to disarm properly yeah. and uh, you know bring that that whole situation to a safe conclusion. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we have the proper training for our law enforcement officers. And I'm grateful to back the blue. I'm grateful to brought back the most appropriations money that was signed into law by the governor. In fact, I made a presentation to Daytona State College with the check which I gave to Tom Labasso and mm -hmm. his board. So I'm extremely proud as Good. a lawmaker to have done that in my yeah. first mm -hmm. year. And this year is going to be even more because, you know, you got to be pushy. People say, you know, Webster, why are you so pushy? I says because we've got a short period of time to yep. get stuff done. Yeah. So I'm all about getting stuff done. You know, no time for, for bull Time to get stuff. No time done. for bullshiggity. Yeah. Right. You got it. You got it. You got it. And, I, and I appreciate it. Um, and I know that you um, are a fan of visiting Deltona. You have been to Deltona a couple times, and I rib you mercilessly about it, but I know that you're spending time in Tallahassee. And outside of session, um, you know, my ask this year is that um, – People, there are people in Deltona that know you, but like not everyone knows you in Deltona. And that is my ask of all of our representatives here is that we get in. And I, I know that you have a loyal following here. Obviously, you won, right? By, um, by 11,000 votes. How many? 11,000 votes. Really? Yeah, it was a big win. It was okay. a big win. 19.1%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to say, okay. All right. I mean, you know. Okay. Oh, I know. I wasn't talking about that race. I was talking about the other one. Oh, my primary. Your primary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The governor said I'm landslide web. That's what he called me because <laughs> I won by a landslide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what he's called you, okay? Well, he meant that facetiously with the other one. You know, yeah. we all know it was a close primary. It was a, it was a tough battle. And so, look, he came out on top. And then at the end of the day, you know. Then you know it, what? You look so fucking New Jersey just on all this. <laughs> forget about it. Hey. That's what you, I'm in that mental state today. I'm in that forget about it kind of state today. Let me I just know. say, because okay. I got a couple of momos on my mind right now. But okay, I, yeah, you do yeah. your momos. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, finish, with, keep, yeah, finish my love story yeah, here you with go the ahead. representative. <laughs> it's just you and I. I want to right now. I'm just going to stay quiet most of the show because this has been building for a while just to have these two on. So. <laughs> well, let me, let me just say that uh, on mental health. So I, I made a request for uh, 
clinical psychologist, very important because we got a lot of issues with young people, our mm -hmm. youth being troubled with different mental health issues. A lot of people listening to this podcast did. Wait, I'm going to I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah, and I, and that this is just because I want clarification yeah, from you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What do you see? What do you hear at the mm -hmm. legislative level? Yeah. Is the number one youth issue that they're having problems with? What What is it? Is it drugs? Is it alcohol? Is it gender identity? Is it home life? What are, What are you hearing? Be be behavioral, mm -hmm. behavioral. It's a right. It's a behavioral problem. Mm -hmm. The Parkland shooter, the kid that did the Parkland shooting, apparently he was diagnosed late, but diagnosed with alcohol poisoning. His mother, when she was carrying him, apparently drank a lot, mm -hmm. and the alcohol got into her placentia and went into his bloodstream, and apparently he was never properly diagnosed. A lot of kids are being diagnosed with autism, they're mm -hmm. being diagnosed and put on you know, psychotropic medicines today. Right. <clears throat> And come to find out, a lot of these kids are getting the wrong diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I got the bill passed last year, the Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder Bill, working with uh, many of our key partners here in Central Florida, like Central Florida uh, Children's Hospital, working mm -hmm. with uh, Arnold Palmer's Children's Hospital, Orlando Health, is because we've only got one fetal alcohol spectrum disorder center in the entire state, mm -hmm. all the way down in Sarasota. So mm. my bill, what the governor signed into law passed, that means they're going to be building a center right here locally in Central Florida so that children who are diagnosed with alcohol poisoning can get the proper treatment that they need because you're not only born with uh, physical deformities, but there are mental mm -hmm. deformities. I understand that. And, and, and because of the mental aspect, and it's affecting a lot in our society with behavioral attitudes and problems, kids are quote unquote acting up mm -hmm. and if they're not getting the proper diagnosis and the proper medicine then it's going to be hard for them to be controlled in the school system and unfortunately this is why we have so many kids that are getting into juvie into yep. juvenile yep. and and the whole juvenile justice system so you know prevention is better than cure and i'm all about prevention i'm all about making sure we have the proper diagnosis in our entire state yeah yeah so that all of our parents and our children can live in a safe environment in a productive environment yeah. particularly our school system so if you're a mother with a child that's having behavioral problems we want to make sure that that kid gets the proper diagnostic do diagnosis and the proper medicines that they need yep. not the wrong medicines that's going to trip them out and cause them to get into further problems right we got to have the correct diagnosis and you know it takes people with a heart to follow through on those things. Yep. The First Lady has made it number one initiative, Casey DeSantis. Mm. And I've already been to see the, uh, the chief of staff and I've been to see the uh, speaker's office and to let them know that this rep for House District 29, Webster Barnaby, wants to make it in priority number one for West Volusia County. Okay. We're going to take care of that problem right here we need in a lot West of, Volusia County. We, I, and I appreciate that um, amongst all of the, the other stuff. I appreciate that. I mean, you know what my platforms are, right? Absolutely. It is substance and, and mental health, yeah. substance abuse, yeah. mental health. You know that I'm in recovery. I've been in yeah. recovery for a long time. So I'm very Proud adamant you. about that. Thank Proud you. you. Proud Thank of you. I appreciate that. Um, to take the stigma away so that people can come forth. And, yeah. you know, with that being said, I want to discuss with you because I, I promised um, myself that, that even though, all, you know, all the bullshit that goes back and forth. I mean, you know, I'm a lot of hot air sometimes. I'm a big softy, right? And with that being said, you know how much I... Um, you got to agitate. Dana, let me tell you, don't be afraid to agitate. I didn't say I was afraid. It, I said, you let know. Let me tell you something. <laughs> some, some people are, but in your washing machine is a little tool called the agitator. Yeah. And if that little tool wasn't there, your clothes would come out dirty. Yeah. But thank God for the agitator in your washing machine. Mm -hmm. And I tell people all the time, don't be ashamed to be an agitator in our community. Yeah. You know, you can be a disruptor without being disruptive. Right. Yeah. Right. Think about that. There's little, 
iteration on words right there. We need people who was who was not afraid to agitate. Mm -hmm. well, I'm about okay? to agitate you, so and, let's, and, agitate. And, 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 <laughs> let's, let's agitate. Let's agitate. Actually, activism, yeah. activism is important if we do it in the right way. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not ashamed of people coming to me and says, you know, Rep. Barnaby, I need your help with so and so because. Mm -hmm. And you, I want to hear your because because your why is very very important. If you're passionate enough about your why, you're gonna get stuff done. Okay, let's why. I'm gonna why away Go on ahead. you right Go now. Ahead. You and I fundamentally disagree on the abortion issue. It's just going to be that way, right? I, I, and I understand it's going to be that way. But I want to talk about um, I want to talk about this. Okay, okay. go ahead. I want to talk about right to life. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and I want to talk about what that really means after the fact. Okay. okay? So you have a, a young female. Yeah. She wants to get an abortion. Perhaps she's been on drugs. Perhaps whatever reason. Okay, yeah. let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and under the allotted uh, amount of time to have an abortion, uh, uh, let's talk about that. So the young lady has the child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She listens to the right, right? And she gets counseled about keeping the child and then she keeps the child. Yeah. The child then and the mother falls off the face of the earth. Yeah. So I believe, this is my belief, that Republicans are really strong about saying, do not uh, abort that child. But after that, what? Where is the help? Okay, because then what happens is that the problem of how to support that child in continuing education, continuing care, fostering good education and vocational choices for the mom, getting her out of an abusive relationship or whatever, and supporting that child, I believe that it ends at that. I believe it is my belief that Republicans then cry, oh, we have so much welfare, socialist um, programs, you know, oh my God, oh my God. And I feel like that the right wants it both ways. They don't want, you preach, and, and I'm not saying you, but on, in the platform, Republicans preach responsibility, abstaining. I mean, that's what it's really all about. The uh, abortion bill is meant to be punitive, and I don't mean completely just punitive. I mean, it's to discourage women from getting pregnant to begin with. I understand intellectually that platform. I understand how passionate the right and the religious right are about the um, birth of a child, okay? However, with that being said, when you force a woman to have a child that's not ready to have a child and introduce it into a social um, society that it's not ready for, that child ends up abused. That child ends up it, it, dying a slow death, really. So you're not aborting the child per se before I, it's born. I, I, don't, I don't agree. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. You can disagree with me because I'm here to learn. Okay. Then you do not set that child up for success, or it's not a priority to set that child or that mother up for success. They become cumbersome and talked about, and I understand abuse in the welfare system. I fucking hate it. I think that you should have welfare, and what I mean by welfare is I think that you should, thank you. I appreciate that, Representative. I think that you should have long-term support, but not like it is structured today. I hate the way that welfare is structured today. It's duplicitous. I believe that it doesn't serve the public or nor the child well. I believe that it's a dysfunctional system. And it's I not just perfect. Want, it's not perfect. It's not, but it's also not a priority. I haven't well, seen it be a priority and I want to see it be a priority. I can get on board. Listen, same with um, with Second Amendment rights. I'm all for that, but I'm also for being responsible. So I want to talk about how do we get to the middle? How do we get from your conservative mm -hmm. Christian beliefs about absolutely no abortions to how do we get to aftercare after that? What do we do about that without the right getting all crazy about left socialists trying to take care of that child? What's the answer? Well, you know, years ago, um, a gentleman that I met a, actually a couple of times and, and actually hung out with him uh, a little bit, he used to own the Orlando Magic and the Amway Corporation. His name was Richard Rich DeVos. Mm -hmm. He wrote a book called The Compassionate Com Conservative. Mm -hmm. And if you've never read the book, go on Amazon and buy the book, The Compassionate Conservative. Now I'm going to wait for you to send it to me. Yeah, well, you know, I opened up this whole entire monologue with uh, quoting John Lennon, the old mm -hmm. British rocker, all you need is love. Love is all you need. Mm -hmm. I believe that conservatives like myself are pace setters. Mm -hmm. I see myself as a trailblazer in the conservative movement because, you know, I, 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 I view myself as a compassionate conservative 
who demonstrates conservatism mm -hmm. by making sure people can see that, you know, demonstrating love for the child after the child is born mm -hmm. by caring for the mother and the child is something that I believe is a, a biblical mandate mm -hmm. that we are our brother's keeper. I'm not saying that. That's so socialist I, of you. Uh, it very, it's very, it's very <laughs> socialist of you. Very socialist of you. But, but it's a personal You're a closet Democrat. I know it. I'm, I'm a recovering Democrat. A recovering Democrat. But it's, a, it's, a personal, it's a personal responsibility mm -hmm. that I believe that um, I am my brother's keeper, mm -hmm. that, that I want to do better by giving more giving back right. more. That's why I, I've been a mentor to, to children. That's why I served on the board of Life for Kids, the Christian mm -hmm. Adoption Agency. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's why I believe in foster parenting. That's why I was uh, very much in part of the governor's initiative to help out with the entire fatherhood program mm -hmm. because there's a responsibility that fathers should have. Um, not just being a sperm donor, mm -hmm. but being being there to right. see th and help that kid in, in in their in their in their growth and mm -hmm. their their upbringing. It's easy to be a sperm donor. Anybody could 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 you know give out seed. Yeah, give out seed all day <laughs> long. But, <laughs> but you got to be there. You're you know? so edgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you you, you, uh. you got to be there, and you know to help nurture that child, help their. You know, to, to with the mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I always joke. There's a couple of things that I I can't do. You know, one is breastfeed, and one is giving birth. But the rest <laughs> I can do. <laughs> I can't breastfeed, but I won't give birth. But Fly <laughs> that freak flag, <laughs> representative. Yeah. Not a freak flag. I'm just, I'm just being honest. You know, you've never had a guest like me. Yeah. You know, talk about the, the smoking truth here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Woo, I mean, Okay. I mean, uh, that's no shiggy right there. We just tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Representative Varn, you cannot give birth or breastfeed. <laughs> it is biologically impossible compared to what some people out there may think. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, easy. Uh, can't give birth, can't breastfeed. Yeah. Well, rep. So rep, yeah. I've talked. So Dana and I have had this conversation before, and I and I told her because she asked me about it before, and I said, look. I'm of the belief, and I want our party to continuously do better on the fact that, yes, you know, look, I believe in what the movement's trying to do when it, when it comes to being pro-life. But right. that said, I think there's more we can do, not just here in Florida, but around the country. But I'll talk about Florida. There's always more we can do when it comes to making sure we're there for the mother and infant. And to your point, yes, sir, we also should be making sure that the fathers are going to be held responsible. I know Not that, only held responsible, yeah. but supported. And supported. Yes, yeah. yeah. supported. Yeah. Be there. Yeah, like supported. I said, just don't be a sperm donor. Yeah. We need daddies to be there. Yeah. That rooster needs to be in the house. You can't have a house. Wait, with a, with a rooster? A it's no the roo same as a what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna not going to say that for a word. Say, no, listen, I was just about to make some noises. <laughs> yeah. bro. Make no, no farm animal noises. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I almost said it. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> uh, listen, I get the concept. Thank you for that. Yeah. We just we need to do better in, yeah. in Volusia County um, and, and implement programs that do that. I, yeah. I know. Listen, I know that we're heading that way. Right. Another thing I want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about legalizing marijuana for recreational use. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Well, um, right don't be a politician. I'm right not going to be a politician. I'm just being honest. With okay, you. go okay. ahead. As a former user, did you inhale? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no Bill Clinton in this man. <laughs> just telling it like it is. Before I found Jesus. <laughs> Before I found. You know, <laughs> Jesus gave you grain. Now it, it was grown by Jesus. <laughs> It's God-given. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the Lord made all the beautiful herbs of the field, okay? But wait, no, but, no, no, no. I need to back up, okay? Because yeah. we're getting real. We're smoking yeah, we are, the truth are, right now. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the smoking truth. Yeah, I know. But, but and, I want and, and, the smoke. Wait, I want to dig in here. Yeah. I want to get to know you so that I'm not sure, as mean to sure, you, okay? Sure. So now you can drink wine. Do you drink wine? Yes. You drink wine? Occasionally. So what's wrong with smoking marijuana? It's less harmful. I've never heard of anybody getting pulled over okay. for smoking marijuana. So why did you have to quit? I'm not an MD. Jesus doesn't care if you I'm smoke marijuana. A, I'm not an MD. I don't have a doctor's degree. All right? And you know that. You don't have a doctor's degree. Mm -mm. And so. But Jesus didn't tell me I couldn't smoke pot. 
He didn't have to say it specifically. <laughs> yes, he did oh, there's too. A, there's a Your thing, Old Testament. There, there's a thing called Thou shalt common, not smoke the There's green. a thing called common sense, but unfortunately, <laughs> common sense ain't common. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead. let's just be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay. We know that there are various different things that uh, causes people to get high. Various different things today. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a plethora of things that cause people. We're just to talking about marijuana. I, I don't want to talk about I the know, bad stuff. We're just talking about marijuana, and the government in in some states have made it legal. Mm-hmm. In other states, it's not legal. Why can't we have it and get that tax base here? Why can't we have well, recreational marijuana? The government is looking at constantly at ways to improve the tax base. I serve on the Commerce Committee. I, I so as see, a Commerce I, Committee I, member, I, I you wanna, should be all over more, this. I'm all over making getting more commerce to the state. Can we have recreational marijuana, please? We have not yet approved uh, mar- You know New York does, mar- right? I know, I know New York You could go to New York and you could get a joint and walk down the street smoking a joint. The, the data that, we, that we're looking at has not yet you mean the Republican reached. data? The data is not yet reached. Republican data. The data is not yet reached. Wait, which, Repu- wait, which is, Republican Party data? Can I just say this? Y'all have a couple of parties. I'm, I'm, I just want to make we, sure we're comparing apples commerce, to apples. Our commerce for the state of Florida has increased more than any other state in the union. What is our largest What is our lar- largest com- commerce? Real estate, right? Actually, um, real estate is not our largest commerce. What is our largest commerce? Um, I, I, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. I'll get back to you on that. It's but, not marijuana. It should be but, marijuana. But marijuana is, is uh, we have marijuana farms, in mm-hmm. legal marijuana farms. So medi- just medical, open it up. Medical recre- marijuana open farms. Open it up recreationally. In our state. That's doing quite well. You know what? You, I'm going to propose this, okay? Go ahead. Let's go to Colorado and see how they do it there. Let's go do some legislative research. Either Colorado, let's go to New York. The mountains get me too oof. Let's go to New York and and talk about well, it. Well, you know, the, the, the one of the problems is the law of unintended consequences because the unintended consequences that's created – mental health issues from people who right i are, need to make the connection there between mental health and marijuana let's yeah, see if i, can, I yeah, can't get see, there because you're not an md but the, which is why we, we we need more data data's out there information's out there about the side effects that's created mental <laughs> issues in our society and that's one of the reasons why florida has not approved I'm blacking recreational out right marijuana <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen representative while we have approved <laughs> medical marijuana we have not approved so you can smoke it under a doctor's order but we don't have any medical correct. proof that it's correct. fucking helpful correct. That it's not correct. harmful correct. so correct. get so, the so fuck out of here so listen get you the can boil it for those who can boil it you can that is so fucking republican oh my god God. You can boil it, you can <laughs> bake it, but as far as smoking it, uh, legally and from a recreational standpoint, we've not approved it. <laughs> okay. Well, can I tell you how good the Big Tent Republican Party is? So here I have the good representative who's on one end of that issue, and I'm on the other end. Yeah. I don't advocate, obviously, um, for my particular boss on the issue, right? But for me personally, you're in Lake County too. Why don't you just yeah? Well, no, listen. No, well, listen. No, no, well, listen. There's things like hemp and other things that are, you know that they're making. You know, they're making work over there. But my point is, is that <laughs> you know that the I fuck out of me. no the libertarian in me says, hey, look, just legalize the damn thing yeah. and be done with it. Do you, you hear know? that? So, you hear that? But but that's the general consensus across the state. You know that, right? However, legalize but it. however, and so listen, you know, okay. the good representative is probably just a little bit more old school and just wants to get more accurate data. You know what? No, no, no. I'm going to tell you something. No, yeah. he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> yes, I it, am. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. He's a- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yes, I'm going to let you keep on. Yes, I keep it on. I'll be around. 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 I know for a white that you have lit a joint and listened to Barry White at some fucking point in your career. So I'm not trying to run under the guise of being more like, conservative. Like- more like Steel Pulse. <laughs> I went to school with those boys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so let me just get myself back together <laughs> here. So, listen, but I'm, ha- I'm going to ask you to do yeah. something, too. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to ask you to do something, too. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you my um, I'm gonna give you my Randy Fine doll. It's a <laughs> pillow, and it's got Randy Fine's <laughs> oh, face on it. Can I take that back? Will you get it signed the unicorn, for me? The unicorn, the unicorn <laughs> caucus, the well, unicorn caucus. What? Tell me why you call it that. <laughs> because he's Jewish, and I'm black, and I was the only black, and he was the only Jew, so we were, we were part of the unicorn Jesus. caucus. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to tell you something. But he, we got a couple more black Republicans in there. Yeah, we do. We do. We got yeah. a few more. Yeah, that came in. Yeah, 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 came in. We yep. got uh, Bernie Jack. We got Keon Michaels. Keon Michael, yep. Do yep. we have any transgender in the house? Oh, yeah, we do. Do we? Yeah. Who? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Don't ask. Don't tell. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. And I can say this. I can say this because I'm already yeah, on the yeah, shit list, yeah. right? So I don't care. I, Randy Fine would be a lot more likable if he'd just come out and tell people that he likes strippers. <laughs> but he wa- I'm serious. He wants to act like that he's a good Boy Scout leader, but he likes strippers. The world oh. would like him. Florida would like him a lot better if he just come out and said, uh, I like strippers. Uh, Representative Fine, I am staying quiet. <laughs> I ain't say the word. Yeah. That that's 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 that's, listen, <laughs> silence speaks volumes. No, I just no hate. answer is an answer. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, but listen, I, I'm going to just talk smack. I need just one minute to talk smack. So you know who I want to get on the show, right? And I'm going to lobby you to help me with that also because so Ooh. far Eric's not come through yeah. for me yet. Yeah. All right. Uh, go All ahead. Right. Make, the, make the ask. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would like you to help me get Representative Garrison on the show. Oh man, I love him. Sam, I am. <laughs> I love him. She went for the she yeah. went for the top, man. She told me. I said, That's I do good. see him. How, but for... how long ago have I been talking about Sam yeah, Garrison? I know. A couple of years before he was even the presumed uh, speaker. Yeah, yeah. Next no, no, speaker. no. I know. You know. You've been talking about him for a while. I, that I know. But she's been ma- she's been making the ask, and I told mm-hmm. her I do see him from time to time. He's a good man. He's helped from me out before. Class. Yeah. So he's, yeah. So. Hello. I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Well, you, you hear Pinky promise me. I'll, I'll Pinky ask promise. I'll okay. ask him. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can you get him on? Yeah. Oh, score. <laughs> score one for me. Cool. <laughs> hey, Skull. I want <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, representative. <laughs> He's got Kahlua and coffee in that. I just want to let you know that he's a big fucking lush. That's what I want to tell you. <laughs> hey, I want to get uh, Deltona centric if I can for a yep. minute with you, sir. I yep. know that we kind of um, skirted around it, but you know we are uh, on top of the serious things that we have here. Thank <clears throat> you for coming uh, to speak to our city about Been flooding. Enough. Exactly. Thank you for yeah. being here. Um, I toured. When the senator was here and when you yeah. toured, thank you for doing that because mm-hmm. we have had serious issues here. And on behalf of our city, um, I know that you're going to go fight for us. Um, to a couple of issues, right? Yeah. The first is being the biggest being right now is that we need that money for the outfall study. Yeah. $600,000 if you can get that back for us. Because I'm going to tell you, when the hurricanes hit, yeah. myself, Brandy White, yeah. Commissioner Lauren King, yeah at the time and Tara Dierico who was running for um, district seat here also mm-hmm. we went out and we were ha- we were taking food and checking on people in kayaks back where there shouldn't be kayaks you well, know? I, pr- I appreciated um, your city manager coming and making a presentation he's amazing isn't he he's a great guy he made a presentation to our Volusia County delegation yep. meeting where which I chaired yep and uh, I'm sorry I missed it. I, I had I'm sorry you missed it as well. I wish you were there. <laughs> I, I remember you last year. You were there sitting in the front row doing um, a great, Im- great impression for me. And uh, it was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're live on the radio. For <laughs> Commissioner McCool was doing a great impression <laughs> for me last year. You uh, just, let me I'm, tell you something, I'm nobody on this show, not even myself, has been able to just get her to that point where she's just like laughing and just can't say a word. <laughs> because because she was doing her impression. I'm not going to tell you of who, but it was yeah. funny as hell. <laughs> who was I doing an impression of, Representative? I can't say. <laughs> I'll be in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> No, I like what I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. Go no, ahead, Representative. No, um, I appreciated the, the presentation from your city manager. Mm-hmm. Very important that he follows up and that the commissioners follows up to make sure that your lobbyist does all the proper paperwork, all the proper mm-hmm. attestations. It's so critical to do things uh, with a focus, mm-hmm. especially when you're asking for appropriations yep. and you're asking for a lot of money to help the beautiful city of Deltona, yep. my home. Mm-hmm. I want to see the entire state, in particular the District 29, get the help that it needs. But yep. Deltona is the biggest city yep. in West Volusia County, and I'm going to fight. I'm going to agitate. I am going Good. to be active mm-hmm. in, in pursuing Tallahassee to bring home the bacon. Yep. So I want you to make sure that you follow up with your city manager's request that he made so that we can get everything uh, our ducks in line yep and that the uh, rest of my colleagues in tallahassee knows how important it is for this city to get the reciprocity and the help that it needs yeah we need that and bringing in commerce because as we look around deltona uh we 
we have a lot of development here. We have a yeah. lot of homes being built here and trying to build uh, and, and keep a balance with that residential because you know that I am a big proponent of strong growth, but I am a big proponent of um, proper land development. You know that I vote no a lot, and it is not because I'm against development. It's because I want Deltona to be better in its development. There are things that I'm asking of developers coming in. <clears throat> if you're building an apartment complex, I'd like for you to donate one to three based on your unit structure. I would like for you to donate something as a um, hideout for uh, women's domestic violence um, because you can do that. We are asking for more protection and conservation. We are asking for greener standards as we build in Deltona because we deserve it. We have, if you go back to the 50s and, and the Mackle brothers and the way that this was laid out, for the longest time, people didn't want Deltona to be a city, right? Well, pu public safety has to be uh, a priority. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the statistics from the latest uh, data shows that Deltona, amongst two other cities in Volusia County, ranks amongst the highest in the state in pedestrian Pest and deaths pedestrian deaths and mm -hmm. that's because the way the city was planned mm -hmm. and laid out as a community uh we don't have enough sidewalks unfortunately yep. we don't and, and you know one of the ask I, you know i sit on tpo right. <coughs> i was an alternate last year and i sit on tpo as our um, elected member this year and one of the thing a couple of things that we're working on um in deltona right now first is the outfall right yep. so that we can do something about el cam boulevard you yep. know how low it is oh, and it yeah. gets flo flooded <coughs> and it goes it into yeah exactly we need money for that we need money for the outfall study first of all that's number one we need money and we need the state and we we need everyone to get on board with the Rhode Island extension, wh yep. which will help drive more commerce, more business through here for commerce. We need that. And our public safety, when you look at how we're growing up on Howland Boulevard, we need yeah. that. It's going to yeah. be beautiful, but we need those protections in place. We we going to need a flyover, okay, between the high school and over to the other side because that's going to be a busy area. When you put those apartments in there, when you talk about restaurants coming in, it's going to be a beautiful metropolis area. And something that I would eventually like to see is something in Deltona is a place like the Yard in Miami. Have you been down to Miami yeah. for a while? Mm -hmm. So Miami has this thing. It's called the Yard. It's a complex. It's inside restaurants like the one down in Sanford at the Depot, right? Okay. So they have a lot of restaurants inside, yep. little uh, kiosks. But amazing, amazing place. And I see that for Deltona. Altona. I see us building up out there, but we really need the support from the state because we have decidedly want to be a vibrant city. And I think that we're showing that by the residents, the draw to move here. We have a good quality of life here. We have trails and parks and a lake chain that is second to none here in Deltona. And I think that seeing the volume of people moving in, the quality of elected officials, mm. you know, uh, are very engaged these days. I mean, we all go through our dysfunctional. Why are you laughing? He just smiled. Did you see him no, smile? He just, no, he just smiled. Officials. Yeah, he's hoping you're talking about him too. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> but we are serious. We're building that platform, you know, and um, just trying to bring more vibrancy. And you know, we really do count on our state representative. I know that I've buggy whipped you quite a bit, um, but it is only because I think that it, I really do want what's best for Deltona. Um, I want more money here. I want more emphasis. I want more eyes on Deltona. And we're trying to position ourselves to do that. You know? Well, we're, we're on a growth curve. Yeah. Deltona's on a, 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 a curve. The arc is bending. Mm -hmm. We understand that infrastructure uh, was something that we didn't pay attention to in the Jesus. past. And because we didn't pay attention to infrastructure, we're behind the curve. Mm -hmm. So now to, to, to get us back on, on the path as a city where we have all the aesthetic things that's necessary for people to come to the city will require us continuing to build out a city's vision, mm -hmm. a vision of a city, uh, but understanding that we've got to accelerate the infrastructure growth building out from 415 to Interstate 4, making sure that we have all of the aesthetic things that's needed along that par particular corridor dun, right there. Dun, dun. Well, well, we got to. I want to talk to you about the Osteen area, yep. JPA out there. Yep. Okay, yep. Yep. There is one road that an intrepid person is trying to save right now. You know where I'm talking about. It's mm -hmm. under lawsuit right now because they want to develop. It is a scenic byway. It is 
we have Deep Creek Preserve out there. We have a beautiful one pristine fucking road is all we're asking to say. More it money. Is <laughs> one road is yeah. that road is Lakeshore Drive yep. that goes out to 415. It's the only thing that we're asking to save. It's a scenic byway, yep. Yep. right? We don't want it developed. How can we save that? Because... You know, Deltona was not thought out properly. I'm sorry, it no, wasn't. It wasn't. And now we're having to do what we have to do. We do have urban sprawl. Yeah. I, I will fight you on that matter. We do because we have developers coming in. I know that they have the right to develop, um, but we have the right to protect our environment also. And that's yeah. an environmentally sensitive area out there. And I want to know, you know, that we are fighting to preserve those old parts of Deltona yeah. that need preserving what do we do how do you serve everybody at that juncture to say n no that we do need this conservation area out there you know how do you balance developer want with community need it's difficult um I, i'm a strong proponent that we are supposed to be good stewards of the environment uh, all of my environmental friends know that i, I believe that government has a as a duty to preserve the environment for the next generation. It's not just about me, 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 mm -hmm. but what about my kids and my kids' kids? Mm -hmm. Which is why those beautiful mangroves and, and all that beautiful water scenery that we have uh, needs our protections. It, it does need the, the state to step in and say, this is a protected area. Mm -hmm. um, if there's there gonna be development, the development needs to be done in a sensitive area whereby we have strong safeguards from DEP, mm -hmm and all the different uh, agencies of the, of the environment. And the, those agencies are there. And we have societies out there from Thornby Park and, and everything else that we've used in this area here to preserve the beautiful Lyona, mm -hmm. preserve and so on and so forth. Um, <coughs> and, and we've got um, some, uh, some folks out there with Lake Monroe and the yep. Lake Monroe Yacht Club. I know they're intimately involved in making sure that everything is uh, clean for the water mm -hmm. usage and everything else, and I'm all for that. So government has a duty, a, a strong duty to play in pr preserving that for the next generation. Can you and tell me, I'm sorry, because uh, I want to get into it before, because we, yeah. we've got like 15 minutes, yeah. right? I know it passes fast, wow. right? Yeah. We're a good company. Where the time go? Yeah. Um, hey, I want to mm. get into, if you can give me like the three-minute elevator speech on the insurance crisis that we have in Florida and let everybody know what you're doing. And when I say you, I mean what the House is doing to help us uh, as far as mitigating some of those costs because residents are dying yeah. here, right? Yeah. Can you yeah. tell us about that, Representative? Well, the um, the the uh, special session that we had on insurance crisis that the state is facing um, didn't put a quick fix. There's no quick fix to this mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take time. What we did was we made sure that we made the, com the insurance market competitive again uh, by making sure that uh, we as the residents uh, would get more insurance choices coming back simply because we said, look, we, we're going to make sure that the insurance companies are paying uh, claims a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure that we, we stop the assignment of benefits scam that was yep. going on yep. in, with the roofing yep. situation. And, and, and we, we're going to make sure that we fix this, uh, this entire debacle with the citizens' insurance. Yep. I mean, w we, we reached so hard and so fast that, uh, that the insurance commissioner resigned, mm -hmm. that the head of citizens resigned. We're getting a brand-new insurance commissioner, a brand-new head of the citizens' insurance. Um, everything is, is, is being done to make sure that uh, uh, we recognize that there is no magic wand mm -hmm but that we're working very diligently to stop this litigious society that we have. We have one over 100,000 pending lawsuits yep. as it relates to insurance in the state of Florida right now, far more than any other state yep. in the union. And, and, and that's something that uh, cannot be fixed overnight. Yep. You know, so we're continuing to work on that. Uh, I'm right in the middle of it being a member of the Commerce Committee mm -hmm. And we're doing everything we can to, to address the, the, the issue and to make sure that Florida property owners get the, the, the help that they deserve yeah. by making sure that you, you have insurance. We've got to make sure that the, the market is conducive yep. for business to come back to Florida. Yep. Because I believe with more competition, 
it breeds lower insurance rates. One of the problems why insurance rates are so high, ladies and gentlemen, is because we don't have enough insurance yeah. Yeah. agents uh, agencies in the state. Yeah. If we have nor more, IRS agents. Uh, well, we, the IRS agents thing is being resolved. <laughs> don't, even, because, don't even do that. <laughs> no, but the, 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 new, the, new, the new Congress has decided that the 87,000 IRS agents that 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 Joseph Rubino Biden decided he wanted to unleash. That's President Biden. For those that don't know, but Joseph Rubino Biden. That's his full name. I'm not making this up. This guy's middle name is Rubino. I mean, it sounds like Rubino. What's your What's your middle name? Uh, Webster. <laughs> What's your first name? Sharon. <laughs> Fucking A. Sharon it is. I'm a black you Jew. Not, I'm a black Jew. I'm a black Jew. I'm a black Jew. I won't call you that in public. <laughs> yeah, but when I'm, when I'm calling you on the phone, I'm going to call Sharon. you Sharon. I'm going to store yeah. you in my phone like that. Yeah, that's all right. I need to get your cell phone before yeah. you leave, too. I don't have it, and I don't like that. So I'm going to get your cell phone. But I go me. by Webster. It's okay. Yeah. No, I'm listen, just, hey, now so listen, I, I'll tell you, then I'll say, and I'll say this just to compliment what the representative is talking about. Yeah. I've had conversations with other folks, whether it be here and you know back home where I live in Volusia or in yep. Lake County, which is to the rep's point. This did not happen overnight. Yep. It's taken some time. It's, we're not going to get out of this overnight. And yep. the fixes that um, the representative, um, with the rest of his class and, and the rest of the um, Florida House and Senate and the governor, that's going to take time to filter into the marketplace. Yep. So I, I tell, so I remind folks, please. You hear the representative saying that, yes, we're, we're trying, we're doing things, but it is going to take some time to filter into the marketplace. So just be be patient. I know it sucks. I do. Yeah. I got my insurance bill, too. Trust me. It went up, oh. it went up a bit. Yep. Um, and so it, but it's going to take time to filter into yep. the marketplace. So Two things I want consideration about, too. Yeah. These are very two-pointed things, okay, I want you to think about. And you can bring these up, and I'll let you take credit for them. But we know where it's coming from. <laughs> First of all, I have a problem with educational concurrency. Oh, yeah. Okay. The formula that the state uses to figure out concurrency, I, and I've brought this up. I've been on this for the All last the year and a half. All the money goes to Dade. And, no, no, no. And, and, listen. Listen. Here's what I'm talking Duval. about. I'm talking about as far as development goes. Oh, okay. Development. Mm -hmm. development. Okay. We have developers come in, and what we have to do as a city is we have to have a letter from the Board of Education, or the school district, I should say, that says, yeah, you have concurrency. You can build here. You pass the comprehensive part, a comprehensive plan part. But representative, what it doesn't take into account is that it's going to put buildings in. Yeah, you have enough capacity to put buildings in here. But, sir, if you take the teacher shortage and you factor that in with those, which it doesn't do, the formula at current doesn't factor in the teacher shortage. Every single one of our Volusia County schools, and I know this, with the exception of maybe three schools, mm -hmm. okay, are over capacity when you factor in that number. I would like the state, I would like you to work on adding that, that it must have a sliding scale or it must use the teacher shortage when it's factoring putting children in schools without educators. Can you put that in writing? I, I send, would that, to send that directly to my aide. Okay. Okay. Who's your aide now? I Darryl, don't know. I've not been Darryl introduced. Boyer. Daryl Boyer. Daryl <laughs> D. I got you. A double R Y L B. Dot Boyer mm -hmm. at myfloridahouse.gov. Yep. Okay, okay, that's number one. Yeah, I'm going to get on that because it's for serious. It's yep. it's it's um, messing with the quality of education, yep. and we're robbing our children of that. Second of all, mm -hmm. there is no data being kept as to when a judge issues an injunction order or doesn't. Five times I have been up at the Volusia County Courthouse in front of Judge Kelly trying to get an injunction for women that have been abused. Denied five times. So that's 100% denial, okay, these women that were being abused, okay? When I called the courthouse, called the clerk, called the judge's office, it was like, go ask mom, go ask dad, go ask mom, okay? I know for a fact there is a data set that says this judge was requested for an injunction. Did he approve or deny the injunction? Because I'm going to say that based on my experiences that it's lower than what the national average is, but they're not required to keep a data set. And how do you get money for advocacy? How do you protect women in domestic violence situations if the injunctions are getting denied every single fucking time that they go up? And that has to stop because we as a society in Volusia are failing our women by doing that. So I want that data set. It should be transparent, and I should know which judges. If I'm voting for a judge, I need complete and competent evidence about his fitness to serve, his or her fitness to serve. Okay, and put that in writing. Send it yep. to my aide, Daryl Boyer. The chairman of criminal justice happens to be Representative Keith Trunow. And I happen to be the vice chairman of criminal justice. He year. is, he is. 
So <laughs> you're talking to the right guy right here, but the, but the chairman is Representative True now. Okay, I'm the vice chairman. Uh, Criminal justice. And so it, it falls under my purview. What do you think about that, Representative? Don't Shouldn't we have data? When you're making decisions, shouldn't we have data? Worth, I think it's worth looking into. Okay. I, again, please send it to us. Okay. I, I'll be happy to work with uh, Representative True now to make sure that... Uh, it's required. Can you do a bill? Tell me, how do you do a bill? Can I request it a bill? Can we work on a bill? You sure, said you had you some can, bills. You can request Can we work on a bill Well, that requires there's, that there's, data there's set to no be maintained? Ca- we've each got seven bill slots. You've got seven bill slots. Okay, but... but have you have you used all your bills? Not yet. How not many do yet. you have left? I have two left. What better way than to protect women? What I'm, better I'm way to protect working, women? I'm working on it. But you've got stuff sitting I'm, in the background, I'm, don't you? Yes, I do. This is why I've got So I can't have a bill? Not necessarily you cannot, but you, it's possible that you may, depending on how hard you agitate. You're so you pivoty. Agitate. <laughs> you you got to keep agitating. <laughs> agitating. And, and you, know, you know someone in this room who can help you get that moved up, moved up the ladder. Why have you been sandbagging me? You and I are so fucking close. We are so fucking close, and she's I can't talking, believe as much talk, as I've talked about, about this, you not say, oh, my boss is... Uh, no, no, listen. I'm not asking you, for favors, you but, asked, uh, you know, just a voice. I button. told you, you asked, and it says when we go up next week, I told you I would try to inquire, but hey, I tell you what, even better than Eric Ramundo, guess what? <laughs> you got the good state representative Webster Barnaby here. Look, can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. I know that he has power. He right? definitely has a lot more influence than I may have been around a little bit longer, but he definitely has more influence. He's a state rep, so. <laughs> he, he's got it. I know where some of the bodies are buried, but he he has influence. Trust me, yeah. he does. Hey, walk, walk soft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't get me going. <laughs> walk soft. <Yeah. laughs> can you, can I, I want to ask you, because um, we have about five minutes left, I want to know what your vision is for um, your what are you going to work on? What is your passion? I know that you said mental health, but what else are you working on um, for Volusia County or for um, you know for your district for District Twenty Nine? What are we working on here? So I've decided to stay singularly focused this year on mental health, and and to make sure that I get all the help that this this area needs desperately, and I'm making sure that everyone in Tallahassee knows how strong. I believe that we need to get this done, so I'm doing everything I can, and also to make sure that we bring uh, the money that's needed for the different water projects mm-hmm. in our area. Uh, as I said, we need to accelerate our is it, entire Isn't water quality one of the – water quality is huge on both of your platforms. It's at the state level. I know that notice oh, is yeah. being taken of water quality speaker, issues. Speaker Renner has talked about it before. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a big – Resiliency. And, yeah, yeah, and he knows it. He knows yeah. it. It's We're a big deal. About resiliency, yeah. but again, everything happens when you stay focused. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you stay focused, folks know that you. When am I coming to Tallahassee? Uh, in a couple of weeks uh, okay. for Volusia Days. Yeah. Everyone's invited. Georgia Carter Turner yeah. and I were talking about coming yeah. up. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Oh, me, yeah. or, me or Kim Short. Yeah. That, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Me and Kim Short and come Jordan on, coming come up. Come on there. up. Oh, oh, oh yeah. monsieur. Yeah. Hey, hey, we take random stuff and we put it on bread. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> inside jokes. So okay. just, okay. She's a piece of work, this lady. Okay. Okay. We don't have an inside joke yet. Yeah. Sharon, we need an inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> we need an inside joke. <laughs> we'll get one. We'll get one. Go ahead and talk about it. Talk, go ahead and in, in, in closing, tell us um, about what y- your passion is going to be. I know mental health this year and, and what you hope to accomplish up in the house. Well, yeah, mental health, uh, resiliency, making sure mm-hmm. that all of my appropriation requests are, are being uh, properly heeded and uh, all the requests that, that we had put in, particularly for the city of Deltona, it's a big ask, and, but it's needed because we need to accelerate the infrastructure uh, building of the city with the proper funding mm-hmm. and to get it on a fast track to becoming um, a well-known city. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but, you know, to my surprise, uh, things are falling in line mm-hmm. so we can accelerate stuff with, with the money. The, the state has done a tremendous job with the budget, budget surplus that we have in Tallahassee. And now is the time to, with over $20 billion in surplus, $20 billion with a B, now is the time to, uh, ins- to tell the governor, um, you know, 
take away that veto pen and sign these bills into law. <laughs> and um, that's what I'm doing. I'm all about um, moving the moving sir, moving the needle. So I want you, sir. I want you to know needle. she's she's giving me some eye action over here because yeah. she keeps yeah. railing on the governor about the veto yeah. from last year. And yeah. I told, look, I. I I would prefer to not go as high as he did. However, it, he, it's his prerogative. He's the governor. Um, and so when she hears you saying that, saying, hey, look, we, let's, not, let's not go crazy with the veto pen, you know, she's all like, she's, she's in hysterics right now. I just want you to know that. She is feeling. I am, because I know that we have the record amount of reserves. I call the governor a tightwad, but that's just me. No, you know what I'm he's saying? No, he's not. Thank God we have the reserves. Thank God yeah. the man is prudent. But like I keep telling people. That's it, key word for tightwad. Things don't happen just <laughs> overnight you got to keep building on your relationship so I, I believe one of the things that i have done one of my uh number one skill sets is that i continue to build my relationship with the governor and the first lady on you behalf do. you're of in the, every picture every picture you're in on every behalf picture. of on hey, behalf of the folks i of, see you well john lennon again <laughs> ladies and gentlemen says all you need is love <laughs> love is all you uh, need so yeah. i'm the love doctor <laughs> it's been fun being here Sharon, on the, smoke the love doctor truth. i'm gonna have you back so on we, we're just gonna keep loving folk and letting people see that compassionate conservatism does work I'm Webster Barnaby. I'm the House representative from House District 29. And, yes, I, I love Dana McCool. You heard it here. She is so cool. And uh, and Eric Romando, this has been a lot of fun, my yeah. brother. Thank Remember, you, we, this is the No Shiggity Show. This is, yeah, it definitely was <laughs> no, no Shiggity, shiggity show, today. show. We just get it done. We just get it done. And and, and I guess what, folks? You know, um, it's, it's, it's fun. I love being a state representative. I love serving people. I love what I do. It's ain't hard work for me. This is what I was called to do. I was called to serve people. Yep. And and uh, thank God I get to do it because I love the people. Listen, we're going to have a fun year this year. Thank you for coming on. You're a good Honest, sport. Uh, I appreciate yeah. it. You're, you're a good sport, you're, Dana. Good sport. You're a great sport, uh, thank Eric. You. Appreciate thank you, buddy. So, so, thank you, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get it together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So listen, guys, thank you for joining us this week. <laughs> Representative, thank you. It was an yes. honor to have you here. To be I'm here. gonna be busting it still this year on you know that. Yeah, yeah, Eric, thank yeah. you for joining us today. I am just I'm a little speechless. <laughs> no, I said from the very beginning, it this is gonna be the two of you going back and forth doing your thing. And yeah. it's been it's definitely been fun. Um he has been given this God gift. God-given talent of just knowing how to speak and say what he wants to say. You, I, you, you called it out on last week's show. You were like, "Hey, you know what your name is for me?" Love doctor. <laughs> Listen, nah, uh, uh, nah, the love doctor. No, no, no. Listen, you are Butter Sharon. That's what you're gonna be. <laughs> so on behalf uh, of yeah. Eric, close Ramundo, it out, girl. On yeah. behalf of Eric Ramondo, <laughs> Dana McCool, and Butter Sharon, <laughs> we want to tell you to have a good week and remember that right. if it's important. To you. It's definitely important to us. Yeah. Peace out. Have a good Peace week. Out. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>The Smoking Truth Podcast, its owners and sponsors, take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of Mike and Mike Productions or the podcast providers, and opinions between talk show hosts may differ. It is not our intent to libel, incite, or hurt anyone's feelings. We invite you to write the show's host, Dana McCool, with any feedback or suggestions you have for their shows. These broadcasts are presented and made public as entertainment in the hope that they will be entertaining to the audience.